Good evening, E39 Source. Today, I'm going to show you how to jack up an E39 properly. And I'm not talking about messing up the vehicle here. I am talking about raising the vehicle in any way, shape, or form that you would like. Whether that be this corner, this corner, that corner, that corner, the rear axle, or the front axle. Or, I'm not going to get into this in this video, you could lift the whole car up and put it on jack stands. So I'm going to start off with the easy. You need a jack, whether you have a floor jack or the jack that came in the trunk. You need a jack to start off. The easiest method to change a tire on this car is to go about a foot in front or behind your wheel and look for a jack pad. You will notice that they are on all E39s. If they are missing, there will be a spot where they used to be. Locate the jack pad spot and position your jack in place. Once you have done that, secure the vehicle. By secure the vehicle, I mean put the parking brake on, put it in park if it's a automatic, or put it in first gear if it's a manual. Get some wheel chocks out. Now this is not nearly as important for a vehicle that you're just lifting one corner on, but it's a good safety precaution. So make sure you put the wheel chocks on the opposite corner of the vehicle from what you're working on. I have these wheel chocks in place for lifting the rear of the vehicle right now, so this does not apply. If I were lifting this corner of the vehicle, I would put one brick in front of this tire over here and one brick behind it. When you prepare to lift the vehicle, position your jack into place in front of the jack stand. I use a piece of wood to minimize damage to the jack pad. You don't have to, but I highly recommend doing so. Now get your floor jack or your conventional jack that came with the vehicle and position it underneath the jack pad. Slowly raise your jack until it comes into contact with the jack pad, taking a few pounds off the suspension of the vehicle. Make sure you examine the vehicle. Make sure everything is safe. It's in first gear, parking brakes on, you're on a level surface. Take all necessary precautions so you do not trash your vehicle. If you have taken all necessary precautions and everything is in a safe dry location, you can begin to jack up your vehicle. The front end of the vehicle is now off the ground on the driver's side corner. You can see that I really need new tires. Isn't that impressive? That's what uh, Pilot Sport All Seasons look like when they have, what, 40,000 miles on them? Yeah. Driven hard? Pretty much. So that is how you safely lift one corner of your vehicle. You can do this process on any of your four corners of your vehicle as you have jack pads on each corner. Now, if you want to lift the entire front of your vehicle and put it on jack stands, there is a center jack point located right about here, top of your hood, um, straight down. You can see it right there. It is that jack point right there. You put your jack right under there. If your car is lowered, you will need to put it on ramps to get the jack underneath the front bumper and belly pan. If your car is sitting a little higher, like a non-sport model or a stock M5 setup, you will be able to slide the jack right underneath. Put the jack there, uh, put bricks on each side of the rear wheels, as we talked about before, and then raise the entire front of the car. The only difference is this time, you put the jack stands on the jack points here in the front. So then you take the weight off of the jack and put it on the jack stands. Once you do that, I recommend that you put about 20 to 30% of the load back onto your floor jack. You will need a floor jack to lift the entire front end of the car at one time. Do not attempt to use the BMW jack that came with your car. To lift the entire rear of your vehicle, just like we talked about the front, you are going to need to locate your rear differential. This is very, very easy to locate. It basically looks like a pumpkin sitting directly between your right and left rear tires. Position the jack. You can have a friend help you if you can't exactly see uh, side to side or forward to back uh, movements for the jack. Once you have the jack positioned, slowly raise it until you're making contact. Make sure your front wheels are chopped. You can see mine are on a diagonal pattern up there and you can raise the vehicle. For the sake of this video, I have raised the rear of the car and I will show you how to lower it onto jack stands and make it safe to work under. Position the stands so that when you lower the car, they will lower onto the stands and I like to make this little notch here lower into this little notch here. I just find it easy. I find that it's a good anchor point. Um, your jack stands are probably different and depending on what BMW you have, your uh, jack pads are probably different. But that's what I do. 
you can use that if that will work for you. So what we are going to do now is go ahead, start to lower the jack very, very slowly, making sure that these are still lined up and you're not going to have an issue. Once you get most of the load back onto these, you can take some of the load back with the floor jack. And once again, you will need a floor jack to raise either the front or the rear axle uh, in one big go. Uh, you can use the small BMW jack to raise only one corner at a time. Once you have it lowered under the jack stands, it should look like this. Go ahead, grab the car, move it around, see if it falls off. If it doesn't, you're good to go. If you are going to be spending time underneath the car after you jack it up, please use jack stands. Do not rely on a hydraulic jack especially. Um, these jacks, they're nice, they're convenient, but they do and can fail. So do not rely on these, you will die. That about wraps it up for how to jack your E39 BMW. Uh, I do want to point out that on the i6 models, instead of that little round uh, cylindrical front jack point, they have a cross member that goes across a little bit closer to the front of the car, and that has a jack pad that matches your jack pad right here. It's actually easier to see and get to than the V8 models. So that will be easier for you i6 guys. Us V8 guys have to work a little harder to get to our jack points. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next video, and uh, have a nice night. Hope this helped.